In this video we create a VB script program that will encrypt a text and decrypt a text. It, this, it, I put all these files in the same folder, subfolder. This is the original text that I'm using and this is the encrypted text I'm using. So to decrypt it we use a program. Let's first start with the encrypting one. It is a VBS file, that means Visual Basic Script. Visual Basic Script is very similar to VBA. Visual Basic for applications in Excel or in Access or wherever. You can use VB Script on any Windows computer. So let's see what the script looks like. I'm going to open that and you open it with Notepad. You type VB Script in Notepad. And this is what it's going to look like. Uh, I'm using a very simple algorithm, so if it's used for criminal purposes, law enforcement can easily decrypt it. I use W scripts, create object script shell. You have to type everything exactly the way it is. There is nothing that is going to alert you if you have a typo. Then we use the file system object of the scripting library. Then I take the path to be the same as where I have my program stored. Okay. So I take from the script the script full name and then the left part up to the backslash. I take the left part of it and I store that in the variable as path. You don't have to declare variables in VB script. They are all of the variant type. If that file exists, and I use the name that I showed you before, original text, if it doesn't exist, then I tell the user so, and I quit W script. If it does exist, then I open the text file with the name original text or whatever you have given it as a name and then do while I reach the end of a stream that is up to the next paragraph or enter key and I keep doing that as long as there is a new paragraph. I read that line by using OTS which is the open text file variable Okay. and I store it in S line and in S total I store what I had already in S total and add to it S line and I loop. Then I run Notepad executable and I let W script sleep for a thousand milliseconds so that is for a second and then each time I run the encrypt function. The encrypt function based on S total. What is the encrypt function. I declared it here. It uses S text and S text is just a variable that in this case happens to be S total and S total is the total of all those lines every paragraph. Then I run through every character from 1 to the total length of S text and I do for the first character I take the mid of S text at position I, which is one, one character long. Then I take the ASCII number of that character. Every character has an ASCII number. I add three to it and I take the character of that new ASCII number. And then in S new, I just keep adding character after character until I reach the end of S text. And then the function returns S new and it does that every second. Uh, it's important when you are done with this that you save it as a all files document. Don't keep text for then it will make it a text file. And give it the extension VBS. So Windows knows that it should be running VB script. So I'm closing this one. I'm going to create the other one, the decrypt. You know the story now. I open it with Notepad. 
and it's exactly the same code as the previous one. The only difference is this, that I subtract now three numbers from the ASCII number of each character. In the other one I had added three, I subtract three. So it's not a very fancy algorithm, but it works great. Don't forget again to save it as a VBS file and not as a text file. So now we can run those two. I'm going to encrypt the original text file. So I double click on it and this is the encrypted version. I'm not saving it, but in real life you probably want to. And now I'm going to decrypt. I didn't save it because I have already an encrypted text version. So now I'm going to decrypt it and notice that it's nicely running the decrypted file. If you want to know more about VBScript, then buy this CD-ROM that I created for you. It has the following chapters in it. And when you uh, go through all of that, you will see how much power VBScript has. It's what they call a lightweight language with a fast interpreter for a wide variety of environments. You can find this at MrExcel.com or GenesisPC.com. It has helped thousands of people to become familiar with VBScript.